so uh you have asked your, your question is uh, how yoga and nana are the different yoga system is a dualistic system dvaita so nana is vishish uh, advaita okay here yoga you believe there is a duality there is a separation okay i am there world is there i am there god is there there's a duality and this 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 separation is real okay separation is real i want to become one with god where there is a separation really but i want to become one with god so that's called aikya okay in aikya when you become aikya there is still a sense of separation but you become you become one one suppose a girl is not married and boy is not married they are two separate so in marriage they become one but still there are two <laughs> in marriage this aikya okay they become one but still there is a sense of two the sense of two persists in yoga you have become one with god but still there is a sense of separation okay in dana you start with the understanding there is no separation possible at all the separation is the illusion so there's no concept of becoming one okay this is not possible to become one so you have to drop the illusion to realize existing no otherness see in nana there is no other than brahman nothing other than brahman okay so being nothing other than brahman there is no concept of becoming one with brahman there is no concept of aikya so ekatvam which is already existing has to be recognized by dropping the illusion that's called nana in nana it's no other so i have to i want to distinguish between two oneness and no otherness oneness and no otherness oneness is highest form of realization in bhakti marga yoga marga two become one okay in nana marga no otherness there is no other at all to become one to one so in nana we don't say oneness is there because if you say oneness there should have been twoness first to become it's become one so in nana we'll never say two oneness it is no twoness so what you realize is there is no twoness at all advaita so we'll not say it became oneness oneness to become oneness there was a twoness whereas in yoga we'll say oneness there are two jivatma paramatma became one okay so nana and vedanta are different in vedanta we don't recognize there's twoness at all so for example we'll say wave and water are not at all separate okay but if a wave is illusion of separation then illusion only has to be removed in yoga marga you recognize wave is separate from wash water so you want to become one even after to become one the sense of two sub two will remain that's why yoga marga mukti is called oneness okay or unity in nana marga mukti is called no otherness advaita will deny understand so that's where the difference is in yoga marga mukti is gradual is called krama mukti so in krama mukti you progressively purify yourself progressively come to god so in actually we have a god who is separate from me so separation is time separation space separation or physical separation so you have to come together okay in that separation first is called salokya you feel i am in the world of god divine maishta devata so 
because now still you have a body identity so you feel god is closer to me oh god is talking to me or god is near me it's called salokya then it becomes samipya now physical it shifts to mental so the qualities of god the mental qualities of god like peace calmness also starts coming in you it's called samipya then becomes sarupya sarupya means uh, the understanding or intellectual thinking or decision making in a given circumstances will become similar then sayujya you say i am jivatma and parmatma is one in sayujya mukti what happen still you have a sense of tuness okay but you have a sense of oneness also it's exactly like two boy and girl are married they were separate they are married they are together but they are still separate so that sense of separation is retained in sayujya mukti so sayujya mukti is bhakti marga or yoga marga that uh, bhakti in bhakti marga especially sayujya mukti is what we say so i am one with god but still separate that's why the people say so he had a mukti and he became anga of god a part of god okay he became ear of god here he became a finger of god so he became one with god a amsha of god still is amsha so the example given is sir if you put a drop of if you put a glass of water into ocean okay let us say i put a glass of water into ocean so now is there a glass of water no no in dwaita philosophy they say glass of water is there still it's in motion <laughs> still a sense of separation is there still it is in motion <laughs> the sense of separation still that subtleness will be there understand right in the dwaita marga there is intense devotion bhakti the tears the tears the crying it's called bhava samadhi whereas yoga marga there is gnana samadhi so yoga marga is elimination all ignorance we are trying to remove so this intensity of emotions and all that you don't see there because you are trying to you say that i have never separate from god i cannot be so all that i have to remove is ignorance was it so all that i have to do is ignore remove the ignorance okay so nothing to gain in yoga marga or bhakti marga there is something to gain oneness right so yoga marga is progressive salokya samipya sarupya sayujya there we say oneness because the tuness is there in gnana marga we say no tuness advaita there is no tuness are you clear so anybody has a question yoga marga and gnana marga guruji Yeah. which would be, be the ideal word in uh, english for this aikya merge at what is all we in word hakbodu that's why in english we call it as oneness or unity consciousness you for yoga alla alla aikya padakke aikya is uh, merge merge agutala so now matadavaga kelisuti like merge merge antanu use martivi but artha gottirbeku all merges only in yoga is possible because merge to mer merge to separate things you should be required like we say sometimes they dissolve into anna tara helu bittive they dissolve into they should be there to dissolve so that <laughs> the dwaita should be there ha huh. right in yoga in nana we can't nobody can dissolve into anything the wave cannot dissolve into water hmm <laughs> correct wave has to just forget the nama rupa and say i am water only just declare this is not right ha huh, realization or recognition is uh, actually very important here words are anyway pointer we have to say <laughs> i am not nama rupa i am water that's all self declaration over <laughs> aste they all the words will become only pointers aste. pointers the guru ji finally understanding bandaga just for uh, the sake of telling people yeah. others correct so in yoga marga it's called union right united union union means requires a two okay jivatma parmatma required whereas gnana marga there's no union at all always there in the beginning there was no, no other in the end there is no other only illusion is remote right so you are at nani today if you are able to declare 
I am not Nama and Rupa. What do you have to declare? Nanu, Nanembudu, Nanalla, Ideha, Manabuddhi, Nanalla, Sajanandatma, Shivanandane, Shivoham. That's all. <laughs> By illusion of I am the body, when it is turned around. <laughs> Is it clear? Any questions? 